Hello everyone, my name is Chuan Ruo, currently a senior researcher at Microsoft Research. Today, it is my great pleasure to present our work at the Web Conference 2021. The title of our presentation is NTAM Neighborhood Temporal Attention Model for Disk Failure Prediction in Cloud Platforms. Let's start. First of all, I would like to emphasize the research motivation of our work. It is well acknowledged that high reliability remains one of the top priorities of cloud systems. Therefore, in this work, we aim to propose a new method towards high cloud service reliability. Since industry cloud platforms are required to serve customers on a 24 times 7 basis, high service reliability is extremely critical. Also, it has been found that disk failure is one of the most frequently failing components among IT equipment failures and has become one of the most important factors that contribute to the service downtime. The primary objective of our work is to empower the large-scale distributed systems, such as Microsoft Azure and Microsoft 365, to achieve higher reliability through intelligent disk failure prediction. Actually, it is recognized that unplanned virtual machine downtime is highly painful to customers. Previous studies have investigated the reasons for VM downtime and found that hardware issue is the top one cause to VM downtime. In particular, disk failures contribute most to hardware issue. What's more, disk failures might incur bad damage to the stored data and result in data loss disaster. Specifically, the goal of our work is to predict disk failures in advance so that proactive actions can be taken to avoid negative impact. In fact, we can improve the reliability of cloud platforms by early prediction of disk failures and take actions like live migration, which moves VMs to healthy computing nodes without disconnection to the client or application. To minimize the impact caused by disk failures, over the years, many approaches have been proposed to predict disk failures before they actually happen. Existing disk failure prediction approaches can be classified into two categories, namely traditional machine learning based approaches and deep learning based approaches. However, in current practice, existing disk failure prediction approaches treat each disk individually and only consider each disk's own status data. It is well recognized that in large-scale cloud platforms, a number of disks are installed in the same computing server. For each disk in a server, all the other disks in the server can be regarded as its neighbors. Since the computing environment is shared among neighboring disks. They would have similar failure pattern. Moreover, the neighboring disks would work together and interact with each other when conducting a variety of computation and storage tasks on the server. As a result, the status data of those neighboring disks placed in the same computing server is strongly related, which can be utilized for improving the practical performance of disk failure prediction. In this slide, we introduce the problem formulation. Actually, the disk failure prediction task is formulated as a binary classification problem. The training set is a collection of n training samples. For each sample, xi represents the corresponding disk's own status data and neighborhood information. Actually, in our work, XI is a union of AI and BI, where AI represents the disk's own status data, and BI represents 
the disk's neighborhood information. Besides, yi is the label. yi equals to 1, meaning that the corresponding disk will fail in near future. Otherwise, yi equals to 0, meaning that the corresponding disk is healthy. In addition, in this work, we use the binary cross entropy loss as our loss function. In this slide, we briefly introduce our NTAM approach, which stands for Neighborhood Temporal Attention Model. The overview of our NTAM approach is illustrated in Figure 1. According to Figure 1, NTAM consists of three components the neighborhood aware component, the temporal component, and the decision component. In particular, the neighborhood aware component aims to effectively incorporate neighborhood information. The temporal component is used to better capture the temporal information. The decision component decides whether the corresponding disk will fail or not. In contrast to existing approaches, which only utilize a disk's on status data, NTAM introduces a novel neighborhood aware component which can encode and incorporate the neighborhood information. The architecture of the neighborhood component underlying NTAM is illustrated in Figure 2. The input of this component consists of two parts, namely a disk status data and the neighborhood information. This component utilizes a soft attention mechanism to encode the neighborhood information and then fills the status data and the encoded neighborhood information together, resulting in a set of neighbor encoded vectors. Besides incorporating the neighborhood information, our NTAM approach also introduced a new temporal component to capture the temporal information. The architecture of the temporal component underlying NTAM is demonstrated in Figure 3. The temporal component consists of three parts, positional embedding layer, encoder of transformer, and time-aware attention layer. This component takes the set of neighbor encoded vectors generated by the neighborhood aware component as its input. It introduces and utilizes a novel attention based neural network to encode and incorporate the temporal information, resulting in a temporal encoded vector. The decision component takes the temporal encoded vector as its input which is the output of the temporal component. Based on the temporal encoded vector, the decision component calculates the failure probability of the corresponding disk through a fully connected network, while hidden layers use ReRU as their activation functions. The output layer uses sigmoid as its activation function. And between each two layers, a drop-out mechanism is added to improve the robustness. In the final step, NTAM utilizes the predicted failure probability to decide whether the disk will fail in near future or not. Since the number of healthy disks is much greater than that of the failed disks, both traditional machine learning-based approaches and deep learning based approaches suffer from the extreme data imbalance problem. In order to address the extreme data imbalance problem, we propose an effective method called temporal progressive sampling TPS to generate more failed samples to complement the data distribution of failed disks. Hence, TPS can be regarded as a data enhancement method through generating more failed samples by TPS. The ratio between the number of healthy samples and that of failed samples would achieve a better balance. 
for a given failed disk. Assuming that the disk failure occurs at timestamp t and the prediction action occurs at timestamp t minus l, then the time period with length l between the occurrence of prediction action at timestamp t minus l and the occurrence of the disk failure at timestamp t is denoted as the leading time. We illustrated the design of TPS in Figure 4. As shown in Figure 4, during model training for each failed disk, TPS collects more failure data samples within the leading time period. In this way, TPS not only generates more failed samples, which can help mitigate the extreme data imbalance issue, but also captures more failure patterns which record the gradually failing progress and thus can enhance the leading process of our approach. In our experimental setup, we compare end time against 10 recent and state-wide disk failure prediction approaches, including six traditional machine learning-based approaches and four deep learning-based approaches. We collect two industry datasets from Microsoft Azure. Both industry datasets include the status data of millions of disks over two months. Besides, we also adopt one public benchmark. For all datasets, the failed disks are labeled as positive samples, and the healthy disks are labeled as negative samples. In this slide, the experimental results of NTAM and its competitors on two industry datasets are presented. As can be seen in this table, it is clear that NTAM stands out as the best approach for both industry datasets and achieves much better performance than its all competitors on all the metrics of precision recall and F1 score. In order to evaluate the effectiveness of TPS, we conduct an experiment to compare TPS against existing state-of-the-art methods for handling data imbalance problem in disk failure prediction. In this empirical evaluation, we adopt four state-of-the-art methods, which are widely used to deal with the data imbalance problem in the context of disk failure prediction. The comparative results of TPS and four state-of-the-art methods for handling data imbalance issue are reported in this table. It is apparent that on all metrics, NTAM equipped with TPS is better than that of NTAM equipped with all other four methods for handling the data imbalance problem. To further empirically evaluate the robustness and the effectiveness, we additionally adopt a public dataset. The left table summarizes the comparative results of NTAM and all its state art competitors without TPS on the public dataset. Also, the right table reports the comparative results of NTAM and all its state of art competitors with TPS on the public dataset. The experimental results in both tables demonstrate that NTAM equipped with TPS performs much better than all its competitors on all metrics, confirming the effectiveness of both NTAM and TPS. Now, we summarize our work. Actually, disk failure prediction is very important since disk failure is one of the major reasons that cause cloud platforms unreliable, and disk failure prediction plays a crucial role in industry practice. In order to push forward the state of art in disk failure prediction, we propose neighborhood temporal attention model, which considers a disk's neighborhood information and introduces a novel temporal component to capture temporal information. Also, we propose temporal progressive sampling, which is a novel and effective method to deal with extreme imbalanced problem. Furthermore, we conduct extensive experiments to demonstrate that NTAM equipped with TPS is able to achieve the state-of-the-art performance in disk failure prediction. More encouragingly, both NTAM and TPS have been applied in Microsoft Azure and Microsoft 365. Thanks very much for your attention, that's all.